Hey folks, Free Play Frank. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to dig out a big stump with a small excavator. And now I'm going to play a super cool song from 1979, Since You've Been Gone by Rainbow. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, now this is an old cedar stump that my neighbor cut down. Well, actually, no, it was, it was cut down long before he bought this property, probably a hundred years ago. dug out around it. This was earlier this year in the spring. I excavated around it and I cut as much of it out as I could with a chainsaw. I cut through as many of the roots as I could with a chainsaw, but unfortunately my saw is not big enough to reach inside and cut all the way through that big root there. So the guys that were cutting the cottonwoods down, I had him do it. He had a four foot bar. See if it'll budge now. I couldn't budge it before. I've got to be careful because I'm right on the edge here. Put my blade down the hole in place. I couldn't budge it before. Let's see if it'll move now. Yeah, it's moving a little bit. somewhat because it's still full of water but this thing is dry as a bone so if I squeeze too hard I'll bend my ram again. Alright, now we're up close to it. Put the blade down for some stability. Let's see if it'll move now. It is moving. Okay, I think what I'm going to do going to be way too bouncy.
Thank you. 
great and got her out. You can see she's a pretty big stump. Just take your time, don't work the machine until you break something. I'll show you a hole here. And you see that part there, that's what was holding it. It doesn't take much wood to hold that. And over here, it was just barely holding down at the bottom, down right in there. That was all. And I started digging over there, thinking that I could get this whole root out with it. But that opened it up enough to allow it to move back and forth enough to break that part off. And once that part broke off, then this part broke quite easily while I was picking it up from over here. I used the leverage from the other side to lever it loose from where it stuck. And I just slowly worked it over to there, drag it a little bit, move the machine back a foot, drag it a bit more, and just keep grabbing it here or there, wherever it wants to move easiest. It's not impossible to do with a small machine. It's possible to do some pretty heavy duty work if you take your time and just take your time and, and don't take any unnecessary risks. You'll be all right.